Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and um, welcome to this uh, uh, next hour and a bit of uh, Mastermind discussion. Uh, I'm Marcel Fernez. I'm the global leader of Entertainment and Media at uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and it's my pleasure to host, uh, host us through until about 6.30. Um, and in fact, hosting two sessions. The first is a one-on-one uh, -on -one discussion on the subject of China and everything that's happening in the digital world there, followed by a panel discussion around what's currently uh, the current scene and what we expect to see uh, in the next few years in India. So certainly two of the most dynamic media markets. Um, and so hence, uh, I'd like to thank MIPCOM for inviting me back to host these sessions. Um, the first session, as I mentioned, is uh, a discussion with Charles Zhang. Now, Charles is one of the really the original pioneers of the internet in China. Uh, and therefore, I think we're all privileged that he is here today to talk about not only that sort of revolution that we see going on in terms of um, uh, consumption habits in China, uh, but also trying to understand what we can learn, what the rest of us can learn from some of the things that are actually happening in the media market. Uh, so as uh, chairman and CEO of, uh, of Sohu, Sohu is one of the original and the leading online platforms in China. Uh, and so please join me in welcoming to the stage, Charles Zhang. So, so Charles, uh, thank you for being here. Um, as I said in my introduction here, um, what many people perhaps don't realize is quite uh, how large online video consumption is in China. And in many ways, is kind of leading the world in, in, in what we're seeing. Do you want to just give all of us a bit of a sort of status on you know, what, is the, what is happening on it, online video and how big is it? Well, China have about 600 million to 700 million internet users. And uh, Sohu alone pro uh, serving uh, close to 500 million video view a day. And together with uh, four or five leading websites for video, online video, we serve about 3 billion video views a day. Um, what you're, we're, uh, we're experiencing really is a revolution in the last five years. Um, basically, a, um, the bandwidth was ready uh, yeah. for a video. And then there's a, uh, we waged two major wars on piracy. Uh, we waged the wars on piracy. We solved the piracy, uh, video piracy problem with uh, a special way with Chinese characteristics. So the, war, the first war is on 2009, and the second war is two, uh, 2013, basically laid the foundation for the legal framework for a legal business uh, of online video. And now, now we have this um, you know, major viewership. So, so I think there are probably many out there who probably don't believe you right now that you've actually, that China can have cracked piracy as it relates to online video. So you have to justify what you just said with a few more details. So talk to us about you know, the strategy that you and others have adopted. Um, well, you know, uh, China's uh, judicial system is kind of um, very, with a very minor fine, you know, like uh, uh, an uh, intellectual property infringement probably end up with like $100,000 RMB fine, uh, $100,000. So what we did is really to, <clears throat> first of all, using the uh, lawsuits, sue a company that pirating uh, as an event, and then using our media power, media platform to launch a major uh, public campaign and awareness. And then uh, this debates and public campaign for the public to understand and have a debates. And then that uh, debates and uh, awareness uh, basically give pressure to the government. And then finally the government start to crack down. And that we did in, on 2009, basically laid the foundation for the uh, basic um, PC uh, browser-based uh, video uh, viewing. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, you know, we were joined by the leading uh, websites and all starting to serving uh, legal contents. And that laid the foundation for, since 2010 up to now, the uh, really thriving of uh, TV shows and uh, TV dramas, and uh, especially domestic TV dramas first, and then we start to buying content internationally. And I think Hollywood probably uh, felt 
the impact because we're starting to spend money on, on American content also, and also Korean content. And then uh, on the recent uh, 2013, there's still a part of the piracy that not resolved. Uh, two leading, uh, two, one leading company, another smaller company, were uh, doing piracy through a P2P uh, you know, player, a yeah. software player playing, uh, playing a P2P side uh, uh, content, mostly consuming American uh, movies. And then again, this time we launched another coalition which is much more powerful, line up with Yuku and with Tencent and with Sohu, and also similar strategy to launch a major public campaign and then ended up uh, with this two provider uh, surrendered and a retreat. And a actually with one of them, uh, one of the leading I mean, senior executives end up in jail. So basically now we wipe out the more controversial, sophisticated way of uh, piracy, which is uh, the software on your PC and the uh, and uh, using P2P sites <coughs> for American movies. So uh, these uh, basically now, uh, miraculously, uh, the, um, the uh, piracy issue on China has been such a many years and uh, unsolved uh, problems and now suddenly resolved. And then we have the blue sky and then you can do online video with uh, basically over the last past, uh, five years has been basically advertising based. Mm -hmm. And now with um, the American, I mean the movie side, movies uh, piracy uh, issue resolved, solved. Uh, and also recent two years, the uh, micro payment issue is uh, also get resolved because of WeChat pay and uh, so Zhifubao pay. So now you have the two major obstacles for paid uh, content is uh, uh, cleared. So you will see a, also another uh, explosion of uh, you know movies in China. So, so before I let you go on the piracy point, so so you're telling me that if I want to, so it's impossible for me to find a U.S. movie other than on a legi legitimate site. Uh, it will be very hard. I wouldn't say complete 100% cleared, but probably 95%. So for anyone who really want to find some pirated content, you have to do search. You have to do to to a very, um, you know. You don't, very, have, to, you don't yeah. have to describe right. it. Okay. So, <laughs> so the mass audience <laughs> will ha happily to come into Sohu, to Yuku, to our sites, and you bear with us for one minute uh, TV commercials, for 15 second TV commercials, and then you will see the quality, you know, uh, content with a clear, with a download speed fast, and, and also subtitled, um, you know, very, you know, and also you feel, you know, morally, you know, correct, because you are watching, you are not contributing to piracy. Okay, so and as I say, I'm, I'm not going to question any more on that. Um, if we talk about w what is driving though the the number of views, what type of content is actually driving this level of, of audience? Um, actually, a uh, company like Yuku and us, in the, uh, originally we want we actually trying to Yuku especially trying to imitate YouTube. Um, but later realize, you know, it would do, it's better to do piracy and then we fight the war against them and then they are not able to do piracy. So we suddenly realized in China that unlike in the US and international markets where the traditional televisions are really uh, market driven organizations, uh, media companies that are competing for many years and very competitive, very good. Mm. In China, you know, the, <clears throat> the uh, traditionally the old state owned television station, satellite, <laughs> television stations, uh, all state-owned and not very competitive. And there's uh, basically uh, cable industry was none. It doesn't exist in China, no paid uh, cable industry. So we suddenly find ourselves, okay, we don't have to do YouTube. And actually the, 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 it's not uh, the environment uh, is not uh, mature for YouTube. But we have a lot of things need to make up to, to do, basically to tr replace TV station, to provide, uh, you know, to provide the basic viewing of uh, TV dramas and all kinds of programs. So that's what we did. And uh, so uh, now, um, because of the uh, non-video uh, on demand nature of the TV, but broadcasting nature of the TV and no cable industry, no paid model, uh, and also uh, tight control, so that uh, uh, traditional televisions <coughs> um, has, the content is really boring and there's not much content, uh, not really, um, or, um, so, so that young people, basically spend less and less time watching television. I think uh, in, uh, in China, probably uh, the younger generation uh, spend much less time watching television uh, compared with uh, US uh, kids and young people. Mm -hmm. So now we have uh, such a, we need to, to basically, uh, to, you know, to, to travel the road, the path, and not traveled by the traditional television. Basically, we be the television first. 
so, so going back to the type of content that's driving this, though, so, so this is not uh, locally produced content. This is actually international content that is driving it, or, or it's actually driven first by locally <coughs> produced content. Yeah. Uh, the uh, mostly uh, in terms of the percentage now, we have about uh, uh, probably um, eighty percent are the domestic content, twenty percent are international content. Um, the domestic contents. Uh, started with mostly uh, TV dramas because uh, TV dramas, uh, there was a movement about eight or ten years ago of a separation uh, of uh, production and the broadcasting on the, uh, in the uh, TV stations so that the, there, are, there are more and more um, uh, uh, studios that are uh, uh, related to the TV station now become, you know, stand uh, alone. And also there are new studios and the private uh, you know, production companies are, are established. So now you have a, <clears throat> uh, you know, many, many you know, contents that produced by this market-driven content. So you see the quality. Now the, the traditionally they sell to the TV stations. Now they have a, they make extra money selling to us. And the price we are paying much and more because there's no piracy, there's a framework so we can, so these, they make uh, double their, you know, income actually. Um, the, then, sorry, are these deals, Revenue share based, or are they MGs? I mean, what? what, what? It's just the one time buying, and then okay, so we, we sell advertise, and, and the money you know, stay with, with us. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then there's a trend that, uh, first of all, uh, the, we buy contents, and especially we pay high price for the contents that are actually the TV dramas that are being uh, broadcasted uh, on the major television station. Because uh, when, when they are like a marketer of the content, when nations, older, old, older, pe older people, you know, they are watching all these uh, TV dramas, uh, you know, because in China, the elderly, and they, after dinner, they don't have anything else to do. So the only thing they do is to sit in front of television and watch uh, a show, watch a TV drama. That's why you need to give, the, you know, feel the story every night, every evening. So uh, the, the, the broadcasting is, happened like three episodes per evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, for 50, episodes, uh, TV dramas, you know, it's uh, get uh, uh, broadcast in a matter of three weeks to a month. So that means that it's, uh, the quality is really low because you have to have a mass production to produce so many episodes and consume in such a short time. And so uh, the younger people, you know, they, either their parents or grandparents are watching these uh, TV shows, so they probably also wa will watch some of the shows. Instead, they, miss, they don't watch on television, they come to the websites. Right. So that we pay, uh, because of this marketing effect, and everyone is talking about these few shows, um, we pay good price for the, for the shows that are on television. But what happened in 2014, there's a few uh, programs, uh, TV shows, that become so popular, start with one from Korea, South Korea, is a, the man from Star, I mean, um, become so popular, it's never showed on the television. So suddenly, the, all the studios realize, wow, okay, now we were making all these shows for television, and uh, we are rushed to make, produce 40 or 50 episodes. Now, we only need, need you know, content made for internet. It's yeah. enough, it can be, become a phenomenon. So now, uh, starting from this, this year, especially with more and more entrepreneurial uh, activities in the content area, so they're all starting to make shows for, for the internet alone. And then for the internet, we are more international. We adopt the uh, internationally uh, accepted updates schedule. So we update um, per week. So you see now we are producing uh, you know, more and more uh, weekly updates, just like an American TV com uh, series. Right. So, so if you, I mean, it, it was also presumably this, this uptake in demand for online video um, was also, I mean, so it was about two to three years ago when also there were new regulations on around TV of what could be shown in prime time, correct? Yeah. So, so to what degree, you know, so traditional television, heavily regulated, online television, not so regulated. That situation, is that situation going to be allowed to continue? Um, yes, I, I, I think so. It's just like uh, um, the uh, media, uh, the news, and uh, other text-based content over the past, uh, you know, 20 years, 18 years, mm. uh, that on the internet it's always freer, that uh, the regulation always uh, looser, I mean, uh, uh, loose, right. compared with the newspaper. So, so is the uh, you know, online uh, video content. 
So it will remain this way, and it's considered to be, I think, uh, a different territory that's considered to be the internet. And uh, actually, this is really the turf of this internet uh, uh, territory, where you have the uh, telecom, uh, more market-driven competition with China Telecom, China Mobile, all this competition, then the software and the content. So this is the internet sector is just the more progressive compared with uh, the television the department. Right. There, there, is, there is, however, a new regulation, I believe, about foreign, the percentage of foreign content that you can show online. Is that correct? Yeah, there is a new regulation next year. April will be about a cap, the cap on uh, a foreign content, 30%. Uh, which about the right? You know, we about we have about thirty percent of the content. So, the so. policy trying to fit of the existing um, composition. And and, we, and that's and they define foreign content as what? Just not. I mean, a co-production. That's fine. That that counts as local content, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. So co-production co is still a very insignificant. It's not a very big amount. Right. Amount. So mostly international content. So given, given this trend, and as we all know, once something started, it's very difficult to stop, right? So this, this trend of consumption is going to increase and increase. Um, so the, the question, I guess, does become is where is all this content going to come from? And what is the investment that is required? There have been announcements in the last, I don't know, month or so around people like Alibaba investing significant or saying they're investing significant amounts of money in content. What's your investment strategy as it relates to, to content? <clears throat> there is a, there is a, a, a huge uh, movement of entrepreneurial activities in the content area, um, started by, uh, by people, actually many people, uh, the former uh, TV executives starting companies. Like, I can give you one example, a variety show called The Voice of China. It's actually started by a guy, a person from, uh, from Eastern TV, Shanghai TV. Uh, so there's a lot of entrepreneurial activities that are producing content because they see they have outlets you can sell to the internet uh, audience. They can sell to the, the internet websites like us. Mm. And also a uh, company like Sohu and uh, Yuku and Tencent, we also, uh, we first established as a platform and then distribution channel. Now we also start to uh, develop our own in-house content. And uh, um, uh, because of the, um, uh, developing our own content, the cost is much less than uh, buying contents. Like, you know, we're buying domestic content, um, you know, the, uh, per episode, uh, you know, almost like, uh, you know, uh, one million RMB plus. Um, <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> that's why uh, producing in-house, producing content is not really a heavy capital investment. Uh, but um, it really is the, whether you, the company has this DNA for content, the right. creativity. That's why what you mentioned about uh, Alibaba's investment or other people who have lots of money to what, try to invest into content, I don't think they are really, the, uh, really a serious competitor to the existing uh, video companies. Right, and, so, and your, the so your strategy is to develop in-house and then to buy from independent producers in China. Yes. Or, and overseas, but in China. Yes. So you're not gonna be <coughs> going out and buying a major studio? Uh, no. Okay. Because, yeah, that gave us a lot of uh, uh, freedom to, to choose different studios and a, a, a spectrum of kind of productions. Some of are very, very in-house. Some of are like a, uh, you know, code production or investment. You know, so it gives us a range of weight of arrangement of, of uh, pipelines. And the sort of number of hours that you're producing yourself in-house, what sort of... Uh, we only started, but we start. We actually uh, achieved a certain success. We uh, the some we, we achieved the two major, uh, you know, comedy sketch comedy, very popular, Doyce Man and the and the Doyce Woman, <clears throat> and um, uh, this year we start uh, 2014. <clears throat> we start our first uh, uh, TV quality. I mean, uh, um, uh, drama, 16 uh, episodes uh, uh, per uh, you know per week, updates per week, so uh, achieved success. Uh, with, uh, I think, uh, uh, 400 million uh, viewership, uh, 400, 400 million um, um, to 500 million, between 400 and 500 million view, uh, video view, all total for the 16 episodes. Right. So we probably will uh, produce three uh, such uh, TV uh, uh, pro uh, drama next year, and then more short program like uh, Comedy Sketch and others. Okay, so just while we sort of still in the content area, um, Obviously, we've seen in many markets the, the, the rise of multi-channel networks, MCNs. 
um, in terms of sort of harnessing the power of user-generated content. Now, on so Sohu, there is a lot of UGC, right? Uh, recently, yes. And so do you see that as an important area that you can harness as part of your, uh, your offerings? Yes, I think, uh, <clears throat> I think the, this thing really got delayed because uh, the, the, the idea you know, back 2007, 2008 when we established, we were trying to do kind of a YouTube type of service. Yeah. But it was too early. You know, Chinese people, they don't have cameras, they don't have the studio, they don't have anything. So it was not ready and the high bandwidth. Now it's ready. So we, we see uh, really a user-generated content really on the rise. So it's becoming a, one of the central strategy for our, for our company. So we recently view, see that, that, uh, that you know, really. So now we, we spend like five years trying to make up for the television's, uh, you know, uh, and done work. So now, now we need to now catch up with the world, basically with this uh, uh, PGC, professional produced content, or, or UGC. Right, right, right. So um, and let's move on to a little bit, just looking at the sort of the, the revenue models, that obviously mm -hmm. you know, heavily advertising based. I mean, I guess a question that most people would have is, will Chinese consumers ever pay for anything? Uh, if you ask me 10 years ago, I, I will have doubt, but now I, I will tell you, Chinese people do pay. And if you provide them the, you know, the really uh, you know, value. Um, so in the... Um, Past five years, <clears throat> the um, because of the um, uh, payment problem, you know, the micro payment problem, yeah. because uh, there is no, uh, I mean, credit card use or, uh, and also the telecom, you know, all these uh, uh, banks are really state owned and not really very, um, you know, uh, customer friendly and all these things uh, become a problem for Chinese people to pay. It's not that Chinese people don't want to pay; they want to pay, but it's so inconvenient. If you just uh, you know want to pay, they direct you to a bank account, and then the, the lengthy registration process. And when you you know just want to pay one dollar, it's just so you know it's a hassle. So, but now that problem is resolved. Now with the WeChat and the, and the Zhifu Bar, the, the, these are uh, uh, very easy. Even you know the you know, Chinese people now you know you know what they actually uh, pay a ta you know by a taxi. They pay by by online. So okay. even a taxi they pay now. So it's so easy. So. Um, we, we were thinking maybe the telecom help us, but telecom also stayed on companies, also not very friendly. So now these, also it's the private sector, you know, they provide it so easy. So payment is not an issue. Two years ago, you asked me, it's a, it was an issue. Now it's not an issue at all. Uh, if you, you pay monthly subscription or you pay $1, $2, that's fine, no problem. Uh, then the other obstacle is really piracy for American movies. Um, that already done after the war on 2013 on the war on piracy on American movies and the movies. So before that, because of payment issue and also because of the uh, piracy on American movies, we can only, uh, uh, so we can only sell advertising. That's why we are all buying um, you know, TV dramas. It got to be uh, altogether about uh, 30 episodes. Like uh, you know, we bought so many content from, uh, you know, from, from Showtime, from American, all these, you, you name it, you know, like uh, you know, House of Cards, Breaking Bad, uh, all these, uh, you know, um, uh, Ray Donovan, you, you name it. Yeah. And uh, recently most popular is really uh, strain, The Strain. So all these uh, American TV dramas that uh, appeared in, China, in front of the Chinese audience simultaneously with uh, the US you know, TV show. Um, but it's all free. But in the US, some of them are really on cable, you have to pay. But we adopt because there's only one model for advertising. So um, you see, it was like a, gen a Chinese uh, TV show is uh, uh, about 40 or 50 episodes. And uh, for the American TV, sh uh, TV dramas, it was like uh, a few seasons. But each season is like 10 or 12 episodes. Altogether, it's like a 50. So it's, we treat it like a Chinese the domestic uh, TV series. Mm. So we put them up, uh, updates, but up, uh, updates weekly. Mm. So, so no matter it's a paid or not uh, paid or not paid, I come to China, it got to be advertising. Yeah. Uh, so that's why movies does not have this fate, uh, pos uh, possibility. But movie have only two hours. You only have, uh, you know, uh, one minute of yeah. advertising. It doesn't work. But for 40 episodes, you have 40 minutes of advertising time that can cover. That's why we are only buying uh, TV shows, TV series. But now, as I said, the two obstacles cleared, and we, at Sohu, and also other uh, websites are launching this major uh, payment system platform. Yeah. So next, we are going to buy movies. We are going to buy Hollywood I mean, movies. 
And uh, that's a big, so uh, I, you know, people will pay. So you will see another business model is really to start to thrive and explode. So what we, I think, behind me or behind us here, maybe just want to explain what, what we are seeing here. Oh, uh, these are the, what I'm saying, these are, you know, weekly updates of the, all these, um, um, you know, American TV shows. This is, a, well, we also have South Korean or other part, but this is the, Amer the page for, this is real time. This is um, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, you know, there's a lot of audience just wait for that day to update. You see the uh, 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 spike, um, uh, you know, a, of uh, 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 that day's, uh, yeah. you know. So these are the, you can see all these, you know, name it, anything. It's any movies, uh, uh, TV shows that are popular in the US, uh, Chinese people, you know, can enjoy it. So this is a, yeah. So, so let me and if, you, uh, we, if we turn another page, which oh, is, yes. the, this is the ranking. This is uh, actually yesterday's ranking. Rank number one is really uh, the strand. You see, uh, it's uh, have a 16 million pay, uh, video view yesterday alone for this strand. And then the number two is uh, 8 million, which is, um, oh, no, 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 not 16 million, daily. Just click daily. Not, not weekly, daily, yeah. This is, yeah, daily, just daily, yeah. This is daily, not 16 million. It's a 1.4, you know, otherwise, I mean, it's, it's impossible. <laughs> so it's a 1.4 million uh, uh, video view for the, uh, Z Nation. And then the strand is the number two is 1.2 million. So you can look at uh, these amazing rays and Homeland. Homeland is still popular after, you know, you know about a year ago. And uh, Prison Break, Arrow. So these are the, you know, these are the, the ranking, how, you know, how the Chinese audience like, you know, what, you know American content. So, so um, I mean, if we're looking at the advertising market for a moment, mm -hmm. I mean, China, the proportion of, of total ad spend that goes to digital is one of the highest in the world. Um, and I mean, I think there are some estimates that by 2018, 55% of all advertising will be digital, which obviously plays very well to, to your business. But I just wonder, at, at some point, is the government, is the state-owned sector going to say, hang on a minute, you know, we have a traditional television industry, we have a traditional uh, other types of media, you know, hang on, we have to, we have to even the share up a little bit. Do you ever see that as a threat? No, I don't, I don't see that as a threat. <laughs> I think uh, um, it's, um, um, you know, we, we are seeing uh, advertising growing like, uh, you know, ad, a video on advertising growing 50 to 70% yeah. year on year. That's all, you know, all these uh, TV advertisers shifting toward uh, video. And um, I think uh, the, the development the overall um, uh, is actually the government is happy to see that because you look at, if you look at uh, the overall internet development in China, uh, it's when I returned from, uh, from US to China to start internet and it was only a few thousand people online, but now you have six to 700 million people. So actually um, uh, that means that the government actually uh, encourage uh, the, you know, or trying to, you know, happy to see the internet is really developing. So the online video is the same here. So it's just that um, probably um, on the traditional TV, the big screen, uh, the government may uh, worry that all these uh, 1.3 billion people, especially this, um, uh, the elderly uh, people or the people in the countryside, uh, you know, not really not that sophisticated. Uh, they probably want to watch really those boring content and then, you know, happy with it. And then, so the government really worried that, uh, so they see this big screen as a kind of uh, a, a place where you reach to the 1.3 billion people. Mm -hmm. So the content there has to be, you know, really political correct. But they see the internet as something, okay, these guys are real, you know, educated and they understand things. So they just let it, you know, free. So I think this trend will continue. So um, I, I don't think, so the current uh, tight control is really about the big screen. Right. And then, but uh, then the, the consumers will just, uh, you know, give up the big screen and uh, just uh, use all kind of, uh, you know, you know pad and tablets, you know, mobile phone right. and uh, PC, so. So if the consumer is gonna give up on the big screen and give up on TV, if you were, an executive sitting in a TV company right now, mm -hmm. what, what, what would you do? I mean, well, what should their response be? Well, 
as happening now, there are many executives, I will just uh, leave the TV station and start a company, start a content company. Oh. That's, that's what's hap happening. So many examples and successful examples. OK. So that's pretty clear, right? We could give up and go to the other side. Yeah, um, jump, jump, jump ship and, and to the right side of history. So uh, you heard it here first, guys, um, the right side of history. Um, Charles, we're coming to the end of our session. It, it's been an absolute delight. And thank you for being so open and for sharing uh, what's happening in China in online video. And I think that there are some very interesting lessons for other markets, particularly those that are managing to, to leapfrog uh, legacy systems and go into a uh, the right side of history. So uh, I want to comment that although there is probably, um, um, you know, there is uh, some policies, uh, regulations, and all kinds of things make a lot of headline news, but if you look at the numbers and look at the really what's really going on, the overall situation is very positive and really going into the future. We are serving, as I said, 3 billion video views a day. And then, um, and now the explosion of paid, paid television, paid content. So the future is very bright. And, I, and the Chinese younger generation, the world is really flat. And the Chinese younger generation really uh, enjoy quality international content. So the, you know, the 700 million internet users are, are widely, you know, really eager to, to see great contents uh, worldwide. So we are waiting for you guys to, to, to come to China to give us the good content. There you go. Please join me in thanking Charles Zhang. Okay. Thank you, Charles. Okay. Excellent.